another spring is kicking off guys and I thought you'd like to see what I'm doing with the green giants lately up in the front of my property. So last spring we did a video on propagating these guys as hardwood cuttings. If you haven't seen that video, go click on the link up in the corner there. I'll put a link to it now. Uh, what I'm going to show you are all of those cuttings now that have rooted out and the ones before that that we put up in the one gallon pots I've now planted out in my landscape. It's just a perpetual machine guys and it keeps going on and on and on forever. So I actually decided to do a double row of these guys out in the landscape here because I really want to block this road over next to us. But uh, you can see in the background there I've got a second row planted and I carried it down all the way. Now these guys over here were the same batch as these but I've had them in the hoop house and you can see they're a little smaller, a little more uh, lime greens, they've been protected. And then these smaller ones here, let's see if I can, they kind of trail off smaller here. I've gone along the front, there's one right, where is it, right in there. And they're just going along the front here. That guy right in there, and that guy right there. And we're just doing a whole nother row behind this initial row. Man, these guys have gotten tall. That's it. You hear all that road noise? That's what I'm trying to block out. <laughs> anyway, this guy's about three foot tall now. It's all the way up past my waist, so they're growing pretty quickly, and I'm sure the bottoms will start filling out as they put on some size. I carried it around to the other side, so I've got my original row here going around the corner, and then I started planting these little guys on the inside, five foot in, all the way down, and I planted as many as I've got here all the way down here which it ends actually about right in there somewhere I need to get all the way down the rest of the property so we've got some more cuttings to take now before I get out there and start taking some cuttings I really need to pot up what we've got from last year so this is from that last video we took all these cuttings last spring uh, kind of early spring and they were still hardwood cuttings and I thought I was kind of late in the season but they ended up taking off great now we're only a few days away from when we took these last year in April what is today April 6th or 7th and I think last year we took these April 12th but I mean almost every single one of these guys rooted and you can see let's get on the side here you can see all these roots right down along there right along that tote so let's go pull these guys out and see how well they rooted found one that didn't root. Look at all that callus, guys, just bubbling up there. That's probably why it didn't root. It just got too big and tough for the roots to push out through. Pretty cool, huh? So look at that. I don't remember how many I stuck originally. You could probably go back to that original video last spring of taking the Green Giant cuttings. Uh, and I probably say in there, I just don't remember. But, um, you know, the, I mean, we got a ton of them. Look at all this massive amounts of green giant cuttings and don't worry about the roots right now i know a lot of people are probably stressing out about how i'm tearing the roots up but these plants are basically bare root plants obviously but they're dormant this isn't really going to hurt them at all we're still early in the year they're not putting on new growth quite yet they're just in the very very beginning stages of wanting to break dormancy and start growing so it's the perfect time because the roots are solid they're hard they've frozen all winter they've gone through a good winter and hardened off and now i can kind of pull them all apart out of that bin which was fairly easy to tell you the truth and uh they're going to be completely safe so now we're going to pot these guys up in a one gallon pot yes i could put them in two gallon pots but i intend on planting these the following year they're going to sit in one gallon pots this year i'm going to keep them watered well inside the hoop house and we're going to get those pots full of roots we're going to keep these guys growing real nice and healthy and give them a good start then we're going to take them out on the plant uh, landscape and we're going to plant them out because i want a double row 
dang near all the way around the property. to show you guys this some of these have some really long roots I mean they're just hanging down further than the pot would even have depth for so what you can do and these are still dormant you can see they barely got some new growth whereas a new root growth starting to come out but these roots are still fairly dormant here so what you can do is just take the root just break it off right there this one too just break the end off and what that'll do is basically root prune this guy so you'll get all these lateral roots coming out and little feeder roots and it'll just grow into a healthier plant in the pot for this time of year anyway um, I wouldn't recommend that doing that when they're really growing on strong through the summer but right now while they're dormant it's perfect for them guys so there it is I've got everything potted up there and we ended up with 60 of these things total more than I even thought we originally stuck that's some kind of magic I don't know anyway 60 of those guys pretty happy with that and they should uh, grow on beautifully and they just do so well in this 50% shade cloth in the hoop house but got them fertilized got a little weed blocker down in there and uh, we got our new cutting stuck. So this is the next round. Went out on the property, out on the landscape where we've got all the green giants stuck. And I took all these cuttings. I think there's over 60, like 65 in here now. I didn't count exactly, but I know I got a close figure there. Uh, pretty excited to see what happens with that. We're, like I said, the first week of April here and it, everything's still kind of dormant. Oh, by the way, I told you these guys were dormant and they pretty much were, but not really. Look at that. As I started potting all these little cuttings up, they've got some new growth already coming out. It's just the extra warmth that goes on. It's a few degrees warmer in here than it is outside, and they've already started putting on some new growth. These things shock me. Every time I turn around, it's like they've got a foot of new growth on them. But anyway, it's still early enough. They should be fine potting them up the way they were. Well, another Green Giant video in the books for you Green Giant lovers. I don't know about you, but I just think these things are fantastic looking. And I can't wait to start seeing the growth they put on, the ones already planted out. I can't wait to see the growth they put on this summer. And eventually, I mean, we keep propagating these things like this. We're going to have them lining the entire property. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got something out of it, learned a lot. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow along. I hope you have a fantastic week. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.